Hey there, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you are doing fine. Today we are going to show you how you can calculate and set up tax in WooCommerce. So for this, uh, we need to do some basic settings uh, in WooCommerce. Uh, we will click here and we will simply go to settings. Then after going in settings, this page will appear up. Uh, you can have a look on this page. In the top here, uh, we are not having any tax options, so we have to enable it first. We will go down here and uh, we have to click this check mark button to enable the taxes, rates and calculations. We will simply go and save changes. And we will scroll up and click this tax option here. And uh, all these settings will be appear up. Uh, I will show you these settings but I am, for the time being I am keeping this all settings in default mode. So they are asking you if you want to include your tax price in your uh, sale price on your product page so you can select this option and uh, this is the uh, tax on which based the uh, customer uh, the tax calculation uh, on this right uh, so I am keeping it on the customer shipping address so it will calculate according to it so this option you can see uh, which tax shipping class you want to add the standard the reduce rate the zero rate so i am keeping this settings to the default the shipping tax so yeah uh, you can see this uh, these settings uh, and explore this so i will show my price uh, in excluding tax and all these options you can see the display prices during the cart and checkout will be excluding tax and this display tax uh, totals will be like atomized and we will simply click save changes then these uh, changes will be saved on our website now i will uh, go here and uh, we will just simply click this and we will add some taxes here we will add a row here and we just want to put here uh, the country code the state code the postal code city and the tax rate and tax name uh, so uh, we will add all types of taxes here the country wise the state wise the city wise and of different countries so you can have an idea so for here the first row i am just adding the uh, country and i will select this uh, USA I will select the US from here and I will just type the state code and it is 212 and simply we will uh, just uh, put our postal code uh, which is 10001 and uh, we can uh, type the city here if you want uh, but I'm going right now uh, the state wise so I have put the country the state and the postal code and uh, I will simply put the tax rate here and the tax name uh, for my facility the tax rate uh, will be like uh, the tax rate will be like 25 percent and uh, the tax name I can uh, mention it like USA tax or whatever you want to call it you can name it it is for your facility okay so uh, now I have to so this was uh, the state tax and uh, I have named it like New York tax and uh, now I will I can save the changes and even I can insert a new row here so uh, this this tax will be paired like this here and I will simply insert a new row and I will simply um, go here and uh, we can just type uh, the other country name I am selecting uh, the UK and uh, the tax rate will be 21% uh, it is according to you uh, uh, how much tax uh, rate you want to charge and according to your government taxes you can calculate it I am just showing you uh, as an example and educational purpose only so I will just add one more country which is Pakistan and um, uh, we can just take the taxes like 17% and uh, we can just name this uh, the, as PK tax uh, now uh, these two are country wise taxes and the US uh, is uh, the state wise tax which is New York okay uh, so now uh, we can just uh, add another country I'm selecting India right now so for this I will add the state code and the postal code both so it will like 
when you uh, are from the particular state and you place an order so uh, the taxes from the particular state will be applied according to your IP address so I'm just taking a random state here and putting its postal code and state code so here is the state code which is 10 and for the postal code I am just we can just google it now uh, this one uh, okay so we will go here you can see this one is the code we will put it here 845 401 okay so uh, we can simply put a tax rate here I am for example I am putting 19% and naming this as a in I in tax Indian tax okay uh, so we can now just save changes and if these are the taxes you can see if we want to add a city wise tax you can also add this for example if I choose a city in USA uh, so we will have to put the country first uh, then the state code postal code and the city name also so the state code will be like 147 and the postal code uh, we are selecting uh, the Texas state so we will just select a Texas postal code which is 75047 we will uh, type it here then we will uh, select a city of Texas uh, we are looking for like Houston right now and I will simply type uh, Houston here H O U S T O N Houston and the text rate uh, will be around uh, you can add, say like 21% okay so uh, the text name you can uh, put it like it was uh, the Texas state so we can put uh, the Texas here okay so now uh, we can save the changes and here you can see all the taxes are there uh, let's try this on our website uh, are these available or not okay so we will go on our website and we will uh, go on in Gnito mode and open this here and we will just place a sample order and check if it is working perfectly fine okay so we will go on the product and add to cart this then uh, we will just uh, on our checkout page we will just have a look and here you can see the taxes are here so yeah so hey, here are the taxes you can see so it was the tutorial hope you like the video thanks for watching